is Avril welcoming you to this edition of My Kind of Music. We have a charming opening to today's program. Alfredo Campoli and his Salon Orchestra play for us Knave of Diamonds, and the solo pianist is Sidney Cook. <laughs> In 1951, effervescent Cecily Cottnage starred in Ivan Avello's show, Gaze the Word. From this show, Cecily assures us, it's bound to be right on the night. Immediately prior to London. Well, that's what it says, but it's not. After five weeks' rehearsals and sundry reversals, it seems that the show's not so hot. You kid yourself up to the night that you close. That rather sad cliche, beloved of all pros. It's bound to be right on the night. You've worked and you've slaved, spent all that you've saved, rehearsed till you felt you could drop. At the end of it all, it's a flop. It's bound to be right on the night. You've planned and you've dreamed, you've cursed and you've screamed. For weeks it's been tears, sweat and blood. At the end of it all, it's a dud. You're off now to sup, as gay as a clown. With the notice well up and the curtain well down, it's bound to be right on the night. The show must go on. Your last hope is gone. When the critics in Leeds start to scoff. So it doesn't go on, it comes off. You you begin to feel the lyrics aren't so witty. You discuss act two through vast amount of gin, and with not much now remaining in the kitty, you begin to think the plot's a trifle thin. Over cold pork, pink blancmange, and unripe Stilton, you were rather nice to suffer with Jack Hilton. You cut, rehearse, rewrite act two in toto, build up your beastly parts in up all night. Your interviews non-stop complete with photo, feeling 89, but looking madly bright. Suppose the worst occurs, the damn thing flops. You wonder now, will Delphon buy the props? It's bound to be right on the night. For weeks you've rehearsed, you've sworn and you've cursed. How true it's tough at the top. At the end of it all, it's a flop. It's bound to be right on the night. That corny old line sounds all very fine. Till you face what you've known all along. 
that it isn't all right. It's all wrong. <laughs> Sidney Torch started out as an organist and made some superb records. One of his big hits in 1938 was The Flying Scotsman, an exhilarating impression of a trip on that famous train. So enjoy the scenery whizzing by as Sidney Torch plays the organ of the Gaumont State Kilburn, described as a record run in Torch time. Now for something quite different, with Monty Crick at the piano, Ronald Franco will entertain us with one of his own compositions, Chin Chin Cheerio. Here's a chorus for boozers, good decent men who like a nice job of the stuff now and then. Here's the brandy beer bubblage in whiskey and rum, you may have had some but there's still more to come. The weather we're guests, the weather we're hosts, let's make it a party and have some toast. Come on you fellas, the devil is king, lift up your liquid and jolly well sing. Chin, chin, cheerio, and here's success to crime. So empty your glasses, your blithering asses, and let's have a jolly good time. Here's the thousands of LSD paid to John Reed and the BBC. Here's the listeners they try to impress. They get a little, but artists get less. Here's to Peterson, Peterson's son. Here's to Harvey, who still hangs on. Here's to Carnero, swings them and whirls and promises things to sell her girls. Chin, chin, cheerio, and here's the test the crime. So empty your glasses, you blithering artists, and let's have a jolly good time. 
Here's the fellow who good money lends. Here's the bookmakers, too, and all Hitler's friends. Here's the horses who do the good work. Here's the Steve Donoghue, Richards and Smirk. Here's the fellows of field, bowl and bat. Here's the leg theory. I'm wild about that. Here's the pro players paid for pro -S. Here's the amateur ones who write for the press. Chin, chin, cheerio. And here's success to crime. So empty your glasses, you blithering asses, and let's have a very good time. Da, 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 da. La, da, da, da. Here's the young folk, particularly naughty, between the ages of 20 and 40. Here's the older ones, equally matey, between the ages of 40 and 80. Here's the girl in the high heel shoes who spends your money and drinks your booze. Always attractive and always looks neat. For the rest of this toast, I'm far too discreet. Gin, gin, beer, -io. And here's success to crime. So empty your glasses, your blithering asses, and let's have a jolly good time. Yes, do let us <laughs> Here's the farmers, their flocks and their herds, their trees and their birds, yes, especially their birds. Here's the farmers, their fields and their lawns, here's the rain on their pastures and boots on their corns. Here's the fascists, naughty young rips. Here's the socialists, vast effort crips. Here's the theosophists, long may they shine. Here's the nudists, they're more in my line. Jolly good fellow, time, jolly good fellow, jolly marvelous. Here's the girl who knows a lot and doesn't pretend to be what she's not. Here's the girl with a generous mind who pays for her dinner in cash or kind. Here's the girl with no regrets who gets what she wants and wants what she gets. Here's the girl with her own flat sublime who says to you, come up and see me sometime. Oh, and here's a good time. So empty your glasses, you blithering artists, and let's have a jolly good time. Oh, well, well, that's wonderful. <laughs> Uh, here's the poor folk, and to those who have brass, to all sporty people, whatever the class, in cottages, mansions, or houses, or huts, here's their hearts, boys, and here's their bravery. To all absent friends, here's raising our caps. Here's to all of us here, for we're jolly good chaps. That's the last toast, so God save the king. Lift up your voices, and jolly well sing. Chin, chin, cheerio, but here's the test of crime. So empty your glasses, your blithering houses, and let's have a jolly good time. We're back to 1938 once more, and another hit for that year was Noel Card's show Operette, which opened at Her Majesty's Theatre, London. Who better to sing Dearest Love from this show than Anne Ziegler and Webster Booth? I saw your face, shadows of the morning dew. I knew that suddenly the world had dropped away. Somewhere in space, a new lovely star appeared To rule our destiny forever and a day I knew the moment that I touched your hand The gods had planned our meeting Now in this instant in the whole of time Our lover's rhyme is near completing I saw you turn away and fall while my poor heart drooped and faltered. And then I saw your strange elusive smile and all my life was altered. My dearest dear, forevermore the happiness we've waited for at last is Love. Now that I've found you, the stars are changing the sky. Every song is new, every note is true. Sorrows like the clouds go sailing by. Here, my love, magic has bound you to me. We're cloudy, are clear again. All other people seem like figures in a dream. Every song that I've loved, I seem to hear again. Time goes by like a mothering stream. Love has enchanted the two of us, 
A magic we can share, or something in the air. Proving the destiny new of us. Now heaven's above this, this happiness complete. Could it not be merely chance, this exquisite romance? Forever has us bound For this that we have found No time or tide could sever Conductor Charles Williams, the Two Cities Symphony Orchestra will now treat us to various themes from the film The Way to the Stars.
another change now. Kenneth Alford wrote most of our well-known military marches. The opening couplet from his most famous march, Colonel Bogey, which was composed in 1914, began life as a derisory two-note whistle from a player on a Scottish golf course, which Kenneth, uh, Kenneth Alford cheekily answered by whistling the next six notes, and so the great tune was born. Please enjoy Colonel Bogey, played for us by the band of Her Majesty's Royal Marines, conducted by Sir Vivian Dunn. <laughs> Official bands of musicians maintained by a city or town, or street singers of Christmas carols, are known as waits. Our concluding item today, the London Waits, is performed by the Norman Luboff Choir. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Music was presented by Avril Smith and produced by Alex Hare for Golden Days Radio.